Hey, welcome back to BetSquared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can multitask using the iPad with Google Meet. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Google Meet application, not the browser. So we're not using Safari this time, we're using the application. There has been an update, okay, since we've been using, um, yesterday, I think I up, updated my iPad to iPad OS 14.3. Since then, I think multitasking has come back. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a meeting here. I'm gonna go ahead and start a meeting, get an instant meeting here. This is using the app, by the way. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna invite, so I'm gonna go ahead and share this link via email. I'm just gonna send this to a couple of people. All right, there we go. So I've sent an invite to a couple of students. I'm gonna get them to join in. And what we're gonna see here is I'm gonna show you how we can screen share and start multitasking as well at the same time, okay? So I'll let, let me wait for the students to join in. While that's happening, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and, here we go. So that's one of our students joining in. Hey, how's it going? You okay? Let me put my volume up. Here we go. And who else? Is Yusuf joining us? Like he's be joining us. Right, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, while my daughter's there, I'm gonna go quickly go to, here we go, Yusuf joining us as well now. So here's Yusuf here. Hey Yusuf, how's it going? Okay guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a screen share and I'm gonna multitask, um, uh, give me a second, okay? Because what I wanna do is I wanna um, screen share and share a presentation with you guys. So what I'm gonna do for my presentation, I'm just gonna go to Safari here and I'm gonna go to my drive and then I'm gonna to go to my slides. So I've got a presentation that I wanna share with these guys. So let me go ahead and find it. Discovering your strengths, here we go. So this is the presentation. Right now I'm not sharing anything. My Google Meet is here. Okay guys, one second, yeah, give me a sec. I'm just gonna share my screen. So what I need to do is go to the three dots and I'm gonna do a screen share and then I'm gonna start the broadcast. Three, two, one, it counts down and then here I go. I've now started my broadcast, so let me just go back to Safari now, and I'm gonna present this, and I'm now sharing this screen. What I can do is I can go ahead and put the pointer on. Guys, can you see the title? Can someone read the title for this uh, presentation? Yeah, excellent, discovering your strengths. Now, at this point in time, they can see my presentation because I'm sh sharing this screen, but I can't see them, so what do I need to do here? I'm gonna multitask here. I'm gonna bring Google Meet, and I'm gonna do split view here, yeah? So the benefit of doing this is now I can see my students, okay, I can see my students, and they can see the presentation, and I can go ahead and ask questions. Hey guys, I'm gonna ask a question in the chat, okay? So go to your chat, go to the chat feature, and here, like, while I'm doing this, what I can do is I can um, put some, you know, meeting policies here, okay? So for example, I can say, if you have any questions, please, post them here, oh, post them here. So I can go ahead and say that, oh, look, Yusuf already said hi. Okay, I have to say, okay. So look, this is brilliant. I can multitask uh, engaging in the conversations in Google Meet, as well as seeing all my students. So I can close this off, I can see my students here, and they can obviously see my presentation. So if I carry on going through the presentation. Okay, it says, checking in, just checking in. Uh, how are you doing today? So it says, uh, share something good, something challenging this week. Okay, so what has been good for you, Yusuf, uh, this week? Hey, Yusuf, do me a favor, yeah? On your Google Meet, can you do the hands up? There you go, so you, so you can, all right, give me a sec, bro. So here you can see, look, there's a little hands up as well on, uh, on Yusuf's profile. So I could use that to um, engage my audience as well, engage my participants. So what else can I do with multitasking? You can do whatever you want with multitasking. What I usually do is I will open up, for example, Good Notes here. Okay, I would have something here. Uh, I don't know, parallel perpendicular lines. So I would have something open up here with good notes. My students can. Yusuf, can you see uh, what shape is on uh, the meeting here? A triangle. A triangle, excellent, perfect. So while they can see that, what I can also do is I can bring a calculator in, in as well. I could do a floating calculator. So this is side loading, look, see, I can side load a calculator. Hafsa, can you see the calculator? Okay, what number am, am I typing there? 147, excellent. So you see what I can do is I can sideload my calculator uh, as well as have 
the Google Meet there and as well as my notes. And what, what the benefit of that is I can of course use my Apple Pencil to continue to annotate here. Okay, I can continue to annotate, maybe do a shape. Okay, there's a circle and so on and so forth. I can write on this, okay, as well as see my students, as well as engage in the meeting. Let's see, uh, guys, type in a, um, a question in the chat. Just type something in the chat, Yusuf. Hi, okay, hi. H hello, everyone. Hi, hello. Whoops. So I'm gonna type in hello. Do a little wavy hand, send that. So you see, the benefit of this is that we can engage in the chat uh, at the same time, I can see my students. This is a limited view anyway, because I can't see everyone here. Unfortunately, on the mobile app version, you can't see everyone. It doesn't populate uh, everyone here. For example, if I had more students, let's say I have 16 or 30 students, what I could do, if I wanted to pick on someone particular, okay, I could click on the three dots, go to add others, and then click on a student and just pin that student. So now I can see the camera, the profile of that student. I can engage in a conversation or ask a question to a particular student. The benefit is that I can multitask now without the app crashing on my iPad. So this is very powerful to use um, the iPad for multitasking during Google Meet, okay? So here I am showing my uh, presentation. In fact, I'll go, go, back, go back to my presentation here, okay? I could do my presentation as well as do some side notes uh, and I can actually um, sideload the Google Meet if I wanted to. So guys, what can you see on the screen right now then? What can you see on the screen right now? Two screens, a split screen, isn't it, yeah? So um, I might wanna say, for example, if I had my notes here, okay? I, look, I might have some of this stuff. So I might have my notes here. Students can see the notes while they're looking at this. We can tick off some of the you know, ideas that we've got going on here, as well as look at the presentation. I can click on the presentation and go through some of these uh, points in the presentation. And all the while, if I do want to see my students, okay, I can just go ahead, sideload my Google Meet here, go to the chat and see what the situation is. I can always put my hand up and get students to wait for me. So when my hand's up, students are gonna uh, simmer down, quiet down, pay attention, uh, do whatever they need to do to transition. Now that depends on what you know, I've set as my meeting policies, whatever you set as your meeting policies is gonna help you in making sure that your participants stay engaged. So my hands up might mean, hey guys, just simmer down for a minute, start thinking about the content that we've covered and I'm gonna ask a question in two minutes time, okay? So it might be a transition period when, when I put my hand up. Thank you for watching. As always, consider subscribing, turn on notifications, check out the playlists for some of the Google Meet. We're going into semester two now, which is fantastic because I mean, I use this day in and day out teaching online. I need the split screen because I usually, what I have going is I usually have going my um, good notes and then I sideload my, uh, what do you call it? I sideload my uh, calculator here, yeah? And I can have multiple side loaded apps. So this is my Google Meet. This is my calculator. If I get these out of the way, I've got my notes here. It's a very powerful system. And I'm very glad that Apple have now allowed the privacy, privacy settings. I don't know whether it's Google or it's Apple iPad OS 14.3. If you want 14.3, then give it a go. I'm using an iPad Pro 12.9 2020, um, and I'm running 14.3. The students here, uh, I think are running on an iPad 6th gen and an iPad Pro 2nd um, gen as well. So they're running 14.3 as well. So it is available for a lot of iPads here. Make sure you update. Um, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace out.